Um, I'll start with a statement. Um, I told our guys I've never been more proud of a guy, a team, or a group of guys in the 20 years um, that I've coached. They were just, they were really fun. I mean, and as I've said before, I never had a group where you wanted to, in the morning, you race to the car, you race to practice, because uh, you just love being around, around them, you know. Um, so for me, it was just a pleasure. Uh, to coach them, and um, it was also a pleasure to play Golden State. Like for this group, and especially for the young guys, I don't know if I could have scripted the season before the season, and you told me that first of all this group can make the playoffs, which you know, I don't think anyone believed, and we could pick our opponent. You know, as crazy as it sounds, I don't know if we could have picked a, di- a better opponent than Golden State because they're champions. Uh, they're extremely well coached. Um, they, they play the right way. They do so many things uh, that test your mental. And for Shea and Sham and Zub, um, you know, Therese, just all of them, you know, to go up against that. And every time they made a mistake, like tonight, it felt like we were about to make a run. Then we make one defensive lapse, and it's a three. Um, I think they've learned now that it's, it's more than talent. And, and that it takes an amazing amount of focus um, and preparation uh, to be a champion. And so, uh, obviously, hats off to them, but but good for us. You know, um, I was I was just I couldn't be more thrilled. Uh, it was a pleasure, uh, honestly, for us to to play them. It it really was. Sabrina Merchant, SB Nation. Uh, Coach, this team just never stopped fighting all year. Nah. You know, you called them roaches. Uh, how did you decide? Yeah, that when was it one was... of my better moments, but you know, I, I couldn't come up with anything else. How did you decide when it was time to call it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it was it was tough because I keep looking at the clock and I'm not good in math. So, you know, um, you know, I think at the two whatever mark or whatever it was, and I look up and it's twenty five, or twenty or eighteen. That, that was when it was that late because with this team, you know, you just know who they are. Um, and I thought that they, that they deserved the chance to keep fighting until that late. So, um, But when you come to realization that it's over, it's over, and, and you pull the guys, I just wanted to make sure uh, that they got the, the proper notice from the fans, and, and they did. Hey, Doc, um, you guys win two at Oracle, lose all three at home yeah. in the series. Why do you think that was? And, and Lou, Lou struggled at home in these three games yeah. when usually the bench guys do better at home. Yeah, well, Lou's not a bench guy. You know, Lou's whatever you call him. I'm not sure what we call Lou. I give them credit. You know, I thought they, they game plan well. Uh, we got them out the box a couple times in the series, but um, I thought they did an extremely uh, good job. Uh, Iguodala, you know, was basically whenever Lou came in, Iguodala came in. Uh, they trapped him more in the last couple of games. You know, I thought what we did smart in the last game was we made Lou a playmaker first and then a score. Um, I thought Lou came in to score tonight and it kind of in some ways played in their hands. But uh, I think the, the credit goes to their defense. Doc, uh, since, since they got Kevin, this team has steamrolled everybody in the playoffs. Every series has been four or five games other yeah. than that Houston series. Uh, I know you wanted to win the series, but what does it say about this group that they were able to push them to six when no one else has been able to? You know, um, I don't know. I mean, I, first of all, I don't know the history of that part of it, but I didn't, I didn't go into this series thinking we'd be a pushover. I can tell you that. So... For me, I, I don't know if I'm surprised. I, you know, I'm just not. This team, uh, they're just so ready to play. So it's good. You know, it's a, it's a good sign. But, you know, I, the other thing I told them, listen at me like this next year. This is the start of something great here. Uh, this is just the start of it. Um, and sometimes you have to go through the way you feel to get to where you want to go. And, uh, you know, I think our guys understood that. Doug, just Kevin Durant's performance tonight. Obviously, he had big nights against you guys earlier in the series, but tonight in that first half, what did you see that was making him so unstoppable? Him. You know, really, like, he's just a great player. He really is. Um, we put about everybody on him. Um, 
you know, there, there were four times where we uh, in the first half where we actually made a, a defensive mistake where we kind of helped, but not really. They threw it to him. We got out there. He still made them. You know, when he gets it going like that, um, it's really he's one of those guys like you just have to hope he misses. You know, I thought Pat had some impact on him beginning of the third. But you knew that wasn't going to last, you know, um, and it didn't. So he's just a great player, and that's why he's, he's Durant. Hey, Coach. Uh, Cameron Buford here, LA News Observer. Congratulations on a, a wonderful season. Um, how do you look? Is it too early to look back up upon the season? And what's your takeaway from the season? Is, that too, is it too early? It's to too early for me, um, you know, but I, I can tell you up right now, that, um, you know, we, we did more than, than most thought we could. Um, you know, it's funny. I, I still wanted more, you know, so that's tough. Uh, it takes me a little bit to get away from everything. Um, I thought our fans grew, too, this year. Like, it, it was awesome. Um, it's the first time, really, it, it, that I really, like, they were, they were phenomenal. And they stayed in there. They hung in there with us. Um, you know, I don't know if I've ever had so many fans come up to me on the streets and say that this is their favorite team over any team that we had. And uh, that means that meant a lot to me. Do you feel you – so you're saying that you feel you kind of won over the city in, in, in that respect? I don't know if we've won over the city, but we won over our fans again. Yeah. You, you, and, won, and, you gained and, some fans. And you I, gotta, I'll tell you, you gained some fans. Well, I appreciate that, but you got to keep doing it, you know. Um, you know – they make a heck of a commitment to be fans, and uh, I've always appreciated that. So uh, we asked our players to make a commitment back to them, and I thought they did that this year. Thanks, Coach. Doc, once you do get past this, do you let yourself get a little giddy thinking what could happen here in the next couple of months? Uh, I probably – it'll take me some time, but Lawrence will make me think that way anyway. Um, but uh, honestly, I'm just going to take a break. I need a break. You know, love this group. Um, but I'm going to go somewhere and just do nothing. Um, may watch a couple of games. I'll watch Houston for obvious reasons, uh, though I don't want to, you know. Uh, but other than that, uh, I'm just going to take a break. Farbo Desanshari, Eclipse Nation. Uh, Patrick Beverly led the team in rebounds again, and we saw yeah. him get a little emotional at the end. Can you talk about what he meant to this team? He's the best, biggest heart I've ever seen. I mean, like he's, you know <laughs> – He's just a tough, honorary, just a pleasure to coach, um, never give in guy. You know, uh, Rex had that term unstatable, uh, you know, what we laughed about because he actually thought it was a real word. Um, but it, he, he is an unstatable player. Um, there are no analytics. There's no numbers that can quantify what, what Pat Beverly does for your team, not only just in the games but in the practices on the bus, in the locker room. He just does so many things for your team in the right way. Um, he's, he's a good guy to have if you think about winning. Uh, Joe Morgan, Sporting News. Doc, just personally, how important was it for you to get Ralph at this home game here? Yeah, it was what awesome. It to you? Yeah. Um, you know, Ralph, the last, this was his last telecast, whether we won or lost, you know. Um, so, um it, it, was, it was awesome because I've never seen Ralph more animated than I saw him in Oracle when all the employees from Oracle was telling him, good luck, this is your last game. And Ralph was like, I'll be down if this is my last game. And, and you know, so it was great. Um, he, he deserves uh, a, a street, a statue, or something. Uh, he put in real time here. He really did. Um, and, I, I, you know, I only had him for my six years. Uh, really, seven, I guess, is the one year I played here. Uh, but he was amazing. Uh, and he really is the voice of us. You know, he really is. Josh, New Valley Business Journal. Hey, Doc, great season. Can you speak a little bit to kind of Shea's growth throughout the year? And even today, he arguably was the best player on the court for you Yeah, guys. especially early, you know. Um, he just keeps coming back. What I loved about Shea this year is he did go up and down uh, like a rookie should. Uh, but he never stayed down, you know. So that that's the growth. You know, the, the mental focus stuff, he'll tell you, like, he's got a long way to go there, you know. But the talent and just the straight-up play, he's going to be an amazing player.